Batman vs. Superman. Where do I begin? Do I talk about that this movie was so bad that fucking Adolf Hitler, I mean Hans Zimmer, isn't gonna do the fucking composing of music for another superhero movie ever again that he's retired? Do we talk about how they kill off Clark Kent and Superman? No! Better yet, let's talk about how they kill off Jimmy Olsen in the first 20 minutes of the fucking movie and don't even tell you it's Jimmy motherfucking Olsen! Okay? Batman isn't Batman. Batman goes around with a gun now and fucking shoots people! That whole fucking can... Don't kill people shit? Nope. Out the fucking window. Now, uh, Lex Luthor, well guess what? Lex Luthor isn't Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is Lex Luthor Jr. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Wonder Woman, her tits weren't big enough. Linda Carter had a huge set of fucking melons. This gal fucking gate old chick. Yeah, nice set of tits, but they're no Linda Carter. Wonder Woman needs to have huge tits. That didn't happen. What else? Let's see. Huh. How the fuck does Lex Luthor know that Superman is Clark Kent? Okay? Really? Um, also, somehow Lex has a fucking file on guess who? Yep. Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Aquaman, and The Flash. My problems with this? Well, let's see. Um, first off, The Flash isn't a long-haired Puerto Rican. He's a fucking short-haired Jew. Barry Allen, he's a fucking Jew. He doesn't have long hair. The death fun. Uh, Aquaman, short blonde haired guy. This is this looks like another fucking I don't know what the fucking guy is with fucking long black hair. No, cyborg. Now I really don't remember Victor being created by one of fucking Darkseid's mother boxes. But that's what happens in when you see the fucking fire that Lex has. Once again, Lex also knows that fucking Dark Side is coming. Yeah, Dark Side's coming in. Lex fucking knows about it. I mean, look, Lex is supposed to be this fucking brilliant, fucking evil, sadistic fucking guy. And he, while he did some sadistic shit in the movie, he was a fucking goofball too. And he was Lex Luthor Jr. Um, let's see, what else? Um... Oh yeah, Superman isn't dead, right? You know, they had fucking two funerals from him. They had the Superman funeral, which you don't know what was in the casket. And then you had the, the uh, Clark Kent funeral, which you can assume his body was in that casket because, you know, after Lois goes and drops the fucking dirt on the casket, they pan back later and, and dirt's shaking off the fucking casket, so he ain't dead. But, you know... How does Lex know that Kryptonite kills Superman? How, how... Fucking Lex turns fucking General Zod's dead corpse into fucking Doomsday. Now in the trailer you don't see the finished version of Doomsday because the US government still hasn't shot it with a fucking nuclear fucking weapon that turns him into the final version of Doomsday with the spikes. Uh, I had to see it two times, really, because watching it the first time pissed me the fuck off for the simple fact that they fucking offed Superman. And like I said, you don't even know they kill off Jimmy Olsen unless you know who the fucking actor is that plays him. And you read, stay and read the fucking credits that he was actually in the fucking movie. I mean, the movie was very dark. It, they threw too much shit into it. And it went way too fast. I know you're using this to set up a fucking Justice League movie, but I mean, it, it like I said, they just threw too much shit into this fucking movie. It was fucking ri ridiculous. Was it good? It was okay. Would I recommend it? I would recommend waiting for the DVD to come out when you have a half hour of more fucking garbage to watch. That it's a rated R version. God knows what the fuck they're gonna put in it. Put in it, but you know I have an idea of some of the deleted shit that they didn't put in. But you know, 
Like what you said, it's got to do with more fucking dark side. It's coming fucking garbage. But I mean, you know, the, the only thing I really liked is how while Batman is having one of his fucking nightmares, that's when we have Barry Allen running back in time from the future, asking him if he's if he's too late, if he's too soon, that Lois Lane is the key, and it's all got to do with Darkseid coming to set up the fucking part one and part two of the Justice League movies. But I mean, the only good thing I got out of this movie was a fuck. I went to the Alamo Draft House and I got a nice pint glass and a fucking magazine. I mean, I'm gonna get the same shit when I go see Iron Man Civil War. But then again, that's a fucking Marvel movie, so that'll definitely be better than this fucking two and a half hours of wasted of my fucking time. Anyway, that's my review of the fucking movie. I don't even know if it's playing anymore, because I heard over the weekend it fucking tanked at the box office compared to what it was. And I really don't care. So with that, have a great whatever. I'm, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Bye.